Okay, this is new. I'm learning how to do it from the computer. I normally do it from my phone. <clears throat> but anyways, I hope everybody is having a fantastic week. I'm very behind on posting. And I realized one of my last videos didn't actually, for some reason, upload to show the end results for pillow curlers. So, um, I've already taken half of them down. So I'm going to... <clears throat> show you a little bit of how they look coming down. I'm not going to lie, I did have to go over some of these with um, a curling iron because I have somewhere to be at 11.30 and I'm not prepared for it. I look rough. My allergies are acting up really badly. I barely put any makeup on but it is what it is today. I'm um, Pretty sure I have a sinus infection. My oldest son's sick with it. He's not really sick, but he just has really bad allergies and he's like shooting snot rockets out. It's disgusting. And my uh, <coughs> husband is experiencing a lot of the horrible allergies. But I left in the last of the curlers. But I will say, if you do not let these sit completely, um, and they're still a little bit wet, they're not going to curl how you want them to. And like me, you're going to have to go back over with a curling iron to fix it. Otherwise, it just looks a hot mess. Like this piece. Some of them are not as terrible as you would think. And because I don't have, I have so much hair, I don't have enough pillow curlers for my hair, I have to do pin curls. I do recommend, if you end up sticking with the pin curls, don't do bobby pins. Order the salon style clips and they will work better. They don't make your hair stick to your head as flat. But because I have not ordered any yet, and I don't feel like it, and I have more than enough bobby pins, I, <coughs> I just do the bobby pins. Um, but yes, I don't know why the last video didn't post, so here's a big repeat. And you all, you guys also did not get to see how I do my daily makeup. And again, you're not just seeing it today because I just realized when I went to check on the video, it didn't work. And I'd already put on some of my makeup. And I just feel like crud. So I'm not going to put another one on. But you see the pin curls when... They look a bit like the pillow curlers that's on this side. Again, I will probably I'm gonna have to go back and touch some of these up because they're still a little bit damp. I took a late shower last night, put these in late, and they didn't sit how exactly how they're supposed to. Some of them did, some of them didn't. And it makes things a little bit more difficult. I didn't realize I had somewhere to be this afternoon. Go me. <clears throat> so, I'm just going to take these down and show you guys. But I find that pill curlers do work better for long hair. Pin curls do work well too. But with my hair being as thick as it is, the pillow curlers tend to work a little bit better, but I have like a packet of 64 of pillow curlers and guess what, it does not even begin to do for half, do the rest of my hair. As you can tell while pulling out these bobby pins. And I promise I will 
show more interesting videos than just this, but I felt bad that it's like I lied basically because the video did not upload. Don't know what happened to it. It got lost somewhere. Don't know what, where it went. It's there. So. Don't know where I was going with that. Yeah. Some of these I'm gonna have to try and get do what I wanted to do, but full of volume. All these curls. Oh, three more of these pillow curlers. Oh <clears throat> but yes. I'm looking rough today. And I will try to do a bit of a motiv motivational speaking here in a little bit. But for the most part, this is the end result with the pillow curlers and the pin curls. And again, if you want to do the pin curls, seriously recommend doing... Um, the salon style clips that they would normally do they actually hold a lot better and they don't make your curls stick to stick to, bleh, can't even stalk. stick to your head as flat but I haven't ordered any and I probably won't so I'm not even taking my own advice hello curl being a bit complicated aren't you <coughs> But, here's this hot mess that I have going on with curls that I have to touch up and fix because part of my head is still damp. And, but yeah. As you can tell, all the curls are basically the same. And have a mind of their own. Anyways. I'll worry about fixing this and whatever. What is my hair doing? <coughs> Parts of my hair is not cooperating. And it doesn't look any <coughs> neater on this side. And then see this big long piece that didn't exactly curl it's just hanging there flat it's still wet so again if you're having to take them down early and because you put them in light you have somewhere to be at a certain time you'll just have to go back over with a curling arm like I'm going to have to because this definitely looks out of place I'm going to have to go through and find all the pieces that need it and straighten up some of the curls that <clears throat> are kind of crazy like this one but you will have those days and then some days they'll turn out absolutely perfect and then more like today for me my hair has a mind of its own I'm running behind on some things it's already 10 41 I'm gonna have to get a little bit up here in a second and feed him but um, I recently started back at the gym, but for me, I've actually been going hiking or walking with one of my best friends. Uh, just do a lot of cardio. I'm not even exactly that comfortable in the gym, but I'm going. The membership is being paid for, so I might as well use it. Today, I'm going to try going to the gym again. I've been going every day this week so far. Even though I look like death, I feel like death, but I need to go because I don't want to break the habit. I went from post-pregnancy, I was at 200 and something pounds. Um, I got down to 180. Then 
178 and 172 now I am down to 165 so I am really trying to lose this weight um, I can tell through here a bit that I have even lost some my face isn't as um, full I guess I could say instead of you know fat but still I have this lovely thing going on right here along with some swollen glands and uh shedding gonna have to take a little roll it to myself but really trying to lose weight uh, not just for my health but for other reasons um because I don't like that I am actually this big. I was used to being a teeny tiny little person. But for my height, it's not good overall for me to be as big as I am. But I also have a lot of clothes I really want to fit back into. And I don't feel like spending money on new clothes. So... That's actually kind of my big reason. Don't feel like porking over the money, even though I love to shop. I don't exactly have the money to go on this gigantic shopping spree. So, me losing weight really needs to happen. And then there's the parts of me that are very self-conscious with how I look and how I look in certain clothing. So, I want to lose weight for that because I'm a very self-conscious person on the overall weight part. But, hey, I've had a baby. I actually have had two kids. Technically three. We had a miscarriage on one of them. But, it's got to happen. So I've got to get back into the gym and if there's anybody else that's feeling self-conscious about how they look, I understand and it's very hard to be comfortable in your own skin and for upcoming videos I'm going to try and hit more towards that about taking a journey with me on trying to be more comfortable in our own skin the way we are but still trying to be healthy and work out to keep everything going how it needs to because as much as I hate working out I know for my overall health that I need to do it and for my pants that I really love and I want to get back into I need to do that too but really it's trying to be more comfortable and not feel so self-conscious if you're in a gym environment and that there's other ways that if you're still not comfortable in the gym that you can work out and do as well um, like for me I've been going hiking and walking so there's that that you can do too and you can do at home workouts I don't have a great setup in my house for that so I can't really show you any at home workouts I know a good bit but really I don't have a very good setup and I'm sorry but um, that is an option if you have a nice open floor plan or if you have a large bedroom or a basement you can do workouts in those and you can find a ton of them on Pinterest just go on and look or you can find YouTube videos and um, other videos that I'm going to try and do in the future is how to dress for like a pear shape which is I'm a pear shape how to dress to fit that type of flattering figure because I know some people, they don't really know how to make their figures work. And I will try and find examples or look up anything for other body types if anybody wants me to. But considering I don't exactly have that much of a viewing base, I don't have to worry about that yet.
but if I magically overnight end up having a bunch of comments saying, hey, help me with this, I will do my best. But as for today, I look like death. I feel like death, but I have stuff to do. There's no rest for mommies at all. And tomorrow, there's no rest for mommy either. Because little Joseph here has a four-month checkup. Yes, I'm uh, Shelly. Would you like to say hello to everybody, you drooly baby? Say hello. Say I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> you are so confused. But we're going to sign off. I hope everybody continues to have a wonderful, fantastic, fun-filled day and leading into your weekend. <sighs> Wish me luck because I am very stopped up and congested and basically feel like I'm dying. <laughs> but we're redoing this thing. And please, if you want to see any more videos, I promise I will get better at this. And I promise I'll not look like death as much. I won't try to not look like death as much. But right now, oh, I see myself in the camera and I look terrible. But please click subscribe, go down to the little bell, click that so you can know when I upload any videos. And thank you for watching. I'm sorry this is long and drug out, but thank you.